Welcome to Evangelism FAQ, a GROW video series addressing many common fears and misunderstandings about mission. Today's question is, are lots of baptisms the best evidence of success? Jim, is that true? Lots of baptisms shows lots of success? Hey, I like to see lots of baptisms. <laughs> and certainly, success will include baptisms. But I think we need to remember that Baptisms can sometimes, if we're focused just on quantity, mm. uh, you can suffer in quality of baptism that can lead to problems. There are other factors involved. That's right. Well, let's talk about some of those problems. Well, first of all, like when I think about it, when someone gets, if, if you are focused merely on quantity, just mm -hmm. getting as many numbers through as you can, mm -hmm. well, that could actually be detrimental for the people being baptized. That's right. If the first notion of faith, the profession that they make, all of a sudden it's like, oh, and then you get baptized, and then only later to find out there are other beliefs or practices that are expected of okay. members Who's of the church. Ellen White lady? Yeah, and, and what about this? The... You're saying my diet and my money and my time. Right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> exactly. The best you can hope for in that scenario is that they would be confused. Right. Like, I guess I don't understand, but I'm going to... But honestly, they're more likely to be frustrated or even upset. That's right. Like, this is kind of a bait and switch thing. I was uninformed and... That's it, not good. A lot of times people who leave the church, actually it's not because we didn't spend enough time with them afterwards, mm. but it's because we didn't properly prepare them beforehand and they'd really uh, learned later about things that maybe they weren't fully informed about and, and wouldn't have fully committed to if they'd known about it. So no. we need to be very fair to those people. Right. But we also need to be fair to the church. Mm. This can be damaging to the church if we baptize people before they really understand the commitment and are ready to make that mm -hmm. practical uh, commitment. There's a statement that I'd like to share on this point from uh, Evangelism, page 313. It says, great care should be exercised in accepting members into the church. For Satan has his specious devices through which he purposes to crowd false brethren into the church through whom he can work more successfully to weaken the cause of God. That's incredible. So Satan actually has plans to baptize people. Yeah, I mean, think about what that's saying, that he desires people to be brought into the church. That's right. <laughs> but because they're going to be his they're agents. They're going to weaken yeah. the church. Wow. That's why this next statement, Evangelism, page 320, is so important. God would be better pleased to have six truly converted to the truth, than to have 60 make a nominal profession and yet not be thoroughly converted. That's incredible. Well, that is an incredible thought. So we're looking at at least a couple of different issues here. First of all, hasty baptisms or just going at it from a numbers perspective, mm -hmm. while on the surface may seem very refreshing and we're like, mm -hmm. oh, inspired, we got right. all these numbers. Well, we got to think about what that's doing to those individuals if they're not fully prepared and that's not right. fully committed. And then think about it from the corporate side, the local church say, all right, now we have people in who aren't fully committed and by even Satan's plan, That's right. that could be part of his device to weaken the church. Mm -hmm. So we need to think about that as we go forward. We don't ever want to discredit baptisms and we certainly don't That's look right. down on them. But we, what we want to do is encourage them to be done most fully and completely so those commitments are there to stay. We need to do our work well, just not do it in order to get recognition. And that's mm. one of the things that happens with baptism sometimes. So we need to remember that we need to be faithful to these people and faithful to the church and make that our first goal. Amen. All right, friends, let's think about that as we go forward in the work that God has given us to do. Of course, we wanna see souls one and we'd love to see high numbers of baptisms, but never at the expense of making sure that all of the commitments are full and sincere. We want quality to be our number one priority. Now may the Lord bless your labors and grow your church.